and it was in that national cabinet that Premier McGowan, Labor Premier from WA, Premier Palaszczuk, the Labor Premier from Queensland, Chief Minister Barr, the Labor Chief Minister from the ACT, Chief Minister Gunner, the Labor Chief Minister from the NT, and Premier uh, Daniel Andrews, Premier of Dunestan as we now know him, uh, all agreed at that uh, point. Senator McKenzie, please resume your seat. Point of order. Thank you, Madam Ackie. Senator Watt. Thank you, Madam Acting Deputy President. You've quite correctly ruled that uh, members should be referred to by their proper titles, and I'd ask that Senator McKenzie do the same. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Senator. Senator, what your, your your point is noted. Um, Senator McKenzie, you wish to seek clarification on that point of order? Uh, I wish to make uh, a submission to the point of order. I was not referring to Premier Daniel Andrews anything other than that title. My home state has, in fact, become known as Dunestan. I so wasn't referring to Daniel Andrews Senator, by anything other than Senator his McKenzie. Name. If, if you can, Senator McKenzie, if you, if you can just reflect on your comments and continue your contribution. Thank you. Well, thank you for your positive ruling in my case. Thank you, Chair. Uh, well, I wouldn't uh, want to characterise now, it in particularly uh, positive or negative. Senator McKenzie, Senator McKenzie, I cannot leave your comment un unnoted. Um, I seek that you don't uh, reflect on my ruling, that you accept it, and you do, as I've asked you, to continue your comments, mindful of um, a decorous conversation on this matter of importance in the parliament. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Madam, Madam Deputy President. So, and you know how confident people are in Dunestan about our state government's ability to manage uh, uh, the Senator COVID-19. Senator McKenzie, please your seat. Point of order, Senator Watt. Thank you, Madam Acting Deputy President. I, I remind you, well, I, I, asked, I noted that you asked Senator McKenzie uh, to reflect on her language, and I can see that she's um, flagrantly ignoring you, and I'd ask that you bring her to order, please. Thank you. Uh, well, we're getting a little exercise here. Yes, Senator Sizelja. On the point of order, um, it's not clear to me at all uh, what the use of language by Senator McKenzie, how that could possibly breach a standing order. And if there is to be a ruling against Senator McKenzie, it would be good if that was clarified. Because on my reading of the standing orders, there is no standing order that is offended. Thank, thank you for your contribution there, um, Senator Sizelja. Can, can I just indicate to you, Senator McKenzie, that it is good practice to speak in plain English so that the people of the state might recognise that you are speaking to them? Um, and I encourage you to use the term Victoria. I'm assuming you are a proud senator of the state. It would be helpful if you could refer to it as Victoria um, going forward in the debate. Thank you. Our current malaise. I am a, a proud Victorian. And, and just, just to assure you, uh, Madam Acting Deputy President, that everyone in Victoria understands where we're talking about when we talk about Dunestan, uh, because we are actually Senator living in a totalitarian McKenzie, please take state. A seat. But Senator McKenzie, resume your seat. Yes, Senator Watt. I think you know what I'm going to say, Madam Acting Deputy President. I mean, the Senator keeps ignoring your your requests. Um, she's making adverse reflections on uh, the Premier of another state, um, and uh, I believe that I, sub I submit that that's unparliamentary language. Senator Watt, I'm ruling on Senator Watt's hearing. Matter first, I'll come to you in a moment, Senator McGrath. I Trust me, I'll come to you. Senator Watt, your point is no. So, Senators, um, I, I did use the word decorous. I think that this has descended way past that. Um, Senator McKenzie, I think it's pretty clear that you know, this is a heated issue and it matters to everyone. It would be helpful if you could make a contribution that doesn't uh, ignore the general guidance that I'm attempting to give you. And I would ask senators if we could take the temperature down a little with regard to this debate. Uh, Senator McGrath. Clarification. 
Is Danistan being ruled as unparliamentary? Senator McGrath. So it's, it's either the senator can either say Danistan or cannot say Danistan. We, we need a ruling either way because Labor clearly are on slippery slope or slippery stairs indeed. Senator McGrath, uh, please take a seat. And just to be clear, there is no point of order. And if you wish to have a debate of that, I suggest you find another vehicle uh, to advance that in the parliament. Sorry, sorry, on the point of order, we just... Senator McGrath, we are moving on. There no, will be no further points of order on this particular matter. Senator McGrath, please take your seat. I call Senator McKenzie. Uh, thank you, Madam Acting Deputy President. I do thank my colleagues for their support. It is like living in a gulag, living in Victoria for the last 18 months, where at any given moment.